Hello everyone, this is Riyadh from Vijikami here. Today we are going to have an adventure in Baldur's Gate 3, but a very Halloween approved one. We are going to do a Dark Urge playthrough, in which we attempt to be as evil as possible. So without further ado, let's begin. So this is my first time playing Baldur's Gate 3, so we're going to start with a balanced playthrough. I'm always a huge fan of mind flares on artwork. Speak of the devil. Sweet nails. Oh, what cute little tadpoles. She made a new friend. Neat. That looks fun. I mean, considering something that size crawled into her eye, it wasn't like as bad as the reaction you think. You'd think it would hurt like a lot more, like they'd be screaming in agony instead of like a couple of grunts. Who sure. Sure. Let's keep tutorials on for now. Alright, so I'm probably gonna cut out most of the character creation. Just so you guys don't have to watch me fiddle around with menus and whatnot. But yeah, I'm going to create a character that I will cut back in when that is done. Alright, we are back. I will now show you our character. So we are a Black Dragonborn, level 1 Warlock, 10 Strength, 14 Dex, 10 Con, 10 Int, 14 Wisdom, 17 Charisma. Got initiative from the Dark Urge, and we have eight hit points. For the cantrips, we got Eldritch Blast and Mage Hand. For spells, I chose Dissonant Whispers and Hex. The actions we got, due to being a Black Dragonborn, is Acid Breath. And for our proficiencies, you can see it clearly right here. Simple weapons, light armor, arcana, medicine, deception, and intimidation. Yeah, and we are a warlock, like I mentioned. Showed you all the cantrips. We chose the Great Old One subclass. A haunted background, which I think is the only one you can choose for the Dark Urge. And for abilities, obviously you can see our stats. And again, I chose Arcana, Medicine, Deception, and Intimidation. But yeah, let us now proceed. Now we choose a character name. Probably should have thought of this before I started recording again, but that's okay. Hmm. What would be a good name 
for a black dragonborn warlock with the dark urge. Kind of weird how his butt's clipping through his coat there, as is his dagger, but that's okay. Hmm. What if we just name him, uh, Dark Urge? <laughs> Not super um, creative, but it's kind of fitting. Sounds a bit draconic as well. Alright, Dark Urge, let's go. You need a guardian. Choose one. Choose a guardian, eh? I don't, I don't really know what this is about, actually. I haven't read up much on this, so let's... Oh, who would be a good companion? I mean, a drow would feel appropriate. They're like dark elves who live underground. Hmm. Tiefling would be cool as well. I'm torn between drow and tiefling. However, I like the tiefling's tails. Drows don't have tails, do they? No. Yankee? No, no tails. I'm not like choosing uh, my guardian based solely on the fact that they have tails or not, but yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling tiefling. Does the body type matter? It's just probably aesthetics. Wow. Super tall. I don't know, since Dark Urge is a male dragon board, maybe we could have like a female tiefling to round out the party a bit in terms of appearances. Probably doesn't matter a great deal, does it? What if we randomize appearance? Wow. Is this still a tiefling? Oh, I guess it has to be, right? That's not a tiefling. Randomize appearance? That's a bit of false advertising. I chose tiefling, so... Okay, so it just randomizes the race as well. I'm okay with that. Let us venture forth. The Tiefling Guardian. Oh, hello, my player. Is that one dead? Or just sleeping? Looks kind of dead. I doubt they would like, sleep in the hallway like that. Though I guess mind players care more about their master than their, you know, fellow mind players. That's a cool ship. This guy's gonna poop his pants. Look at him. I mean, understandably. At least he's doing his duty to ring the bell. For what good it'll do. The Wilhelm scream. Can't believe they had that in there. That's, that's pretty funny. If you don't know what, what the Wilhelm scream is, look it up. Spoiler alert, it's a scream from a Star Wars movie where some generic character gets destroyed. That's cool. Dragons are always cool. And get Yankee get a special coolness bonus for being able to ride them. They made the saving roll. That's overpowered. Massively so. My guess is that Gidyanki could travel through portals. 
itself that overpowered in that regard. How do you even repair a ship like this? Is it just like grow some more flesh on it? Ooh, imps. At least I think those are imps. Dark urge. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Let's see. Of course we did this. <laughs> yeah, that feels the most evil. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. Starting off the right note. Oh, All right. My head. Let's see. It's around here. Escaped the nozzle. Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. All right, tutorial. Mind flare fog. Someone else got out. That's that get Yankee that got free. Will he just say the same thing about this? Let the other survivors. Let's do some pixel hunting. See if there's anything around. I know there's like a nursery here. We checked that one already? Yeah, we did. So there's this thing over here as well. Restoration. It's another mind flare pod. Uh, let's check out the nursery. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Can we get more? Resource pool. Let's investigate the pool first. Uh, intelligence roll. Alright, intelligence isn't super high. Let's go for it anyway. So we need a 10. 50 50 odds. Ooh, not good. Typical Baldur's Escape 3 experience. Heck, let's just reach in, see what we got, see if there's any loot. <laughs> Alright, should have probably guessed that was a bad idea. 
Now we're down to three, or sorry, five out of eight health. Not the best start. Alright, let's see what else is around here. So there's this Mind Flare pod and Restoration. We we'll use the Restoration last in case we take more damage from things. I'm assuming it'll heal us, but I don't know if it will. That's a one time use, I'm guessing. Oh no! Okay. Good to know. It's not a one time use. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright, let's continue onwards into the sphincter. <laughs> Great. I mean, it is a sphincter, so it's not incorrect. Oh, I thought we just entered a new screen. Okay, cool. Well, this is like a new screen, just... Brain jar. Let's check out the vice count chair. Your viscous chair, not the vice count chair. <laughs> There's Darker, it's just chilling next to what looks like some a dismembered goblin. Let's lose them. Three gold! We're rich! Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Need anything else here we could grab? We can't just like take the corpse with us, can we? No? This stuff over here. Another <laughs> vice count chair, as some would say. Uh, rune slate. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Can we? I don't think we could mage hand that. Oh, we got scroll for a bit And a potion of healing. Nice. Can we just like blast this thing? Target's too close. Cancel. Should we destroy this thing? I mean, it would be in character. Can we main hand attack this? Let's do it. Did that do? <laughs> did that do anything useful? Oh, is that the brain there? No, it's just a piece of glass. Where'd the brain go? It's more rune slates. The feeling penetrates your mind. An anomaly, one like ourselves, unconnected from the whole. Caution. Worlds beyond worlds flash before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. Cerebral Aquarium. Neural Apparatus. So I feel like that's where we're, we're, the game's telling us to go. Or maybe here. So let's check out this stuff first. Horticulture. What if we just break this as well? Odd things. Wonder what plane they're from. What's the quick key for this? F. Odd things. Wonder what plane they're from. <laughs> nice. We got a crit. <laughs> like it did much. I heard someone say, help us. Let's check out this Eldritch Tavern. A 
thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. I know we're a dragon, but we probably shouldn't walk around and touch fire. That seems like another way to lose health. That sounds like it's coming from the left. Check out this neuro apparatus first. Doesn't do anything. Oh, with this one. Oh. Can we go back down? Yeah, we can. Okay. So the stuff that's asking for help is probably up there. So let's explore the rest of down there first. Let's see. Some blue stuff here. Okay, so those are just sparks from the damaged ship. My goodness, my computer is getting pretty warm actually. After I finish recording this episode, I should turn the fans on max. Yeah, that looks like the path out right. Alright, let's check out those voices now. Up we go. Yeah, you are. Oh, another brain jar. I doubt these will give me anything because the first one I broke, as well as that other apparatus thing, didn't do anything. I mean, I could just go around smashing all of these brain jars. Mind sanctuary. Let's see what this fellow is all about. gonna jump up and grab me. Or just twitch. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. Will I though? The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. Talk about the Githyanki, the ones who are riding dragons. <laughs> do, do I destroy the brain? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my goodness. Dude, you have a dagger. You didn't need to like stick your hands in there. Also, you're a dragon. We could have done our acid breath on it. Ooh, we can lose him. Oh well, look, it's nothing. Just, just kill them for no reason, I guess. Let's check out these things. Brains. Odd. Let's just start stabbing things. Oops. Took some acid damage. Oops. Probably shouldn't stand there. Nope, did not do that. What if we just try and stab one more? And then we'll immediately back away. Okay, back away. Caustic brine. Alright, one more. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was not useful. <laughs> Fun though. Let's head back up here and we'll head back into that other room to heal before we continue on. Yes. 
there's probably some sort of achievement for destroying every single brain in there, but... Yeah, I probably shouldn't mess around too much with acid damage. Dark Urge does take less acid damage since they are a black dragon form, however... Probably not a super great idea. However, before we move on, I think that is a good place to end the first episode. If you like what you've seen so far and are interested to see what happens next, there will be more. I'm going to be recording these in batches. However, if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe or leave a comment or do all three. It really helps out the channel and getting some feedback on this new series will help me figure out if I should continue doing it or as well as what I should be doing next. So until next time, thank you for watching and happy adventuring.